This movie kicks off in 1904, where there's a long ass lesbian scene that creates the origin of Bloody Mary because she's a temptress and she's murdered by her lover. You've gone against the will of God. Fast forward to present day, and the descendant of that man who killed them is Matt Elias. Matt Elias, I can't wait. Me neither. A pop singer who's trying to record his new music video, and there's just a bunch of people in the studio that just summon Bloody Mary. And so they all get killed, they're idiots. Having a bad day? You have no idea. I'm kicking it off with the way this film started. You hear that boom, boom, baby, bang. It was a four minute music video and we were singing it. It was great. It's catchy as hell and you, you're gonna sing along. Don't you wanna take me now, take me baby, yes I'll be your man. I would like to go back a second where I said about the lesbian scene. I know it's not boobs in the first one second like thanks killing, but this is likely the fastest that you see a full in any movie that isn't a porno. And even pornos have like a pretty good lead up because it usually starts with dicks getting sucked. Relax. No, I'm not wrong though. It's always blowjob, then maybe she gets a little oral, and then bang it. There was like bloody boobs everywhere. I like that. I do. Veronica Ricci is a babe. Yeah, she did what she was supposed to do. She was Bloody Mary. She would occasionally pop out of mirrors awkwardly. Not so 3D. I think it was weird that she was in different outfits nearly every shot, but continuity isn't too big of a deal for me in this part. <laughs> Definitely worth noting, standout performance by Sean C. Phillips. I hope you have a great shoot today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break a leg. Mm -hmm. Normally, we just see him as like a one-off cameo and he dies. This one, he had some great moments. So is right here, Mr. Chet Wood. But there's no plus one. And if you don't have a plus one, that means you can't have a plus one. And she would be a plus one, so she can't come in. He's supposed to be the comic relief, and I think he did an excellent job. I think all the actors actually did a pretty decent job. Some of them may have been a little more over the top than the others. For what this film was, I can't really complain about the acting. What do you expect? Yeah, we watched this because there were tits on the poster. And that's why they made it. They like, casted a pet, they kick off with full frontal, like, come on. It just feels so good to get the blood pumping. It's so invigorating. So I know there's gonna be some people like, oh, I can't believe you're mentioning the nudity. That's the whole purpose of this film. There's no other thing going on, honestly. <laughs> it's just this naked chick walking around throwing awkward knives. Ah! It's so weird because they're in this music studio, which is basically this big room, and it's just a bunch of people that don't like each other, not even really in the same shots. Fuck it, man. That's, that's, that's not working. We gotta attack this differently, okay? What? I'm doing what you said. It's like they're talking to each other, but they really aren't. Go ahead, run along. Chill out, Scott. Oh, fuck you, Chet. I mean, half of the people aren't even involved in the music video, so why they're there in the first place doesn't matter. And who the hell is this? We have enough non-performance snatch on this set, don't you think? Like, for example, Ron Jeremy. This is my studio. Why can't I be a rock star? And his scenes just drag on because they didn't want to let one frame of his performance go to waste. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Elle's character is the most confusing. And you see her in the beginning and it's almost built up in a way that she's going to be the heroine, the final girl. So you think she's going to have her grand moment or be the one to fight off Bloody Mary. That's not the case at all. She's barely in this movie until the very end and still comes off as the final girl, but it was just so weird because there was no development. We were more focused on Matt and his relationship with his girlfriend. And what you need to realize is that when I want to get my rocks off, I will. And if you don't want to do it, I'll just find somebody that will. And Bloody Mary trying to get the jewelry. Give me that amulet. Why should I give you the amulet? We all I'm not giving you the amulet. Bloody Mary sees that this Elias guy is the descendant of the person who created her. She sees the little necklace he has and she's like, hey, you gotta get this for me, bald guy. If you could do this for me, I'd be forever in your death. I can make all of your darkest desires come true. I think what was worse is the actual lore because it wasn't like each character went into the room and said her name three times, then she appeared in a mirror. Ed's grandfather had a wife named Mary. That would mean that you're... She was just 
freely walking around the studio like it was nothing at all, killing people. When the two girls broke into the studio and released Bloody Mary, they died for that reason. Any other person in the studio has no idea of this ghost story. Then why the fuck did the people in the music studio just all of a sudden start trying to summon Bloody Mary? Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. What? Chet did it once because he knew like if everyone dies, then I get to bang Bloody Mary. Oh, There's no rhyme to reason why Bloody Mary should be killing anybody. Yes, you have the revenge plot, but at the same time, you don't even have exposition as the history of his family. It's not even like the family is dead. We are only going back about 90 years. I was blind with lust to think that you could ever be a faithful, God-fearing woman. They say it's his grandfather who could very well still be alive. He's not 120. We don't know how old. What right. is it? Is okay. he juicing? Welcome to the Juice Man 75th birthday show. The guy who did the juicer, yeah. he's like, hey, you're killing all the live organisms if you just eat carrots, you gotta squish them. The idea of drinking a carrot has never appealed to me at all. And he's like, you'll live to 100, guaranteed. He lived to 93. know stuff about your parents and your grandparents. Like you would know like, hey, did you know grandpa was like a murderer? And yeah. this is the locket that like ties us to them? The right. reason why he even has that heirloom is because somebody must have said, hey son, by someone, <laughs> I mean either his mother or his father. Like they're not just gonna say, this is important. They're gonna say, here's why it's important. He took it off like it was nothing at all. You want it? Take it, bitch. called Bloody Mary 3D. It was shot with a 3D camera. There's nothing fucking 3D about this. There's nothing coming at the screen ever. Like the only time was when Bloody Mary was walking slowly towards that woman. Yeah. Like she didn't look threatening, she just looked sexy and naked. We've got the most pointless smoke scene when the director pulls up in his car, but the idea is he's a pothead. And it's so on the nose that his first name is Weed. And Chet, this is Weed Bryson. Sup, bro? Nice to be meeting you. We, uh, we actually met before. I, uh, tend to forget things from time to time, know what I mean? The one that takes the cake for me is the final shot where Weed breaks the mirror. Fuck you, bitch! The sound effect is Mary screaming in terror, but it's just a blank stare as the mirror crumbles. All I'm saying is it doesn't take that much effort to go like, ah. Right, you just did it. Yeah. Knocked it out of the park. That's the <laughs> fucking finale of this review. For a Bloody Mary film, she did not do a good job killing the characters. <laughs> There's tons of stuff we can talk about, but we're probably not. Oh my God. It's not a good movie, but it isn't that bad. A lot of people would still have fun with it because there's a lot of stuff to enjoy, but there's also a lot of stuff to make fun of. So if you're watching this with a group, this is probably worthwhile. Shockingly, I would recommend this, even though my rating is low. So I'm gonna give this one and a half, stretching on the windowsill, just to prove that this guy's a director beside me, out of five. In this warehouse, this represents your freaking empty soul. This was exactly what I thought it was gonna be. It's just one of those ones that you need to watch. It's not a good technical film, but it is a fun time. I would recommend it. So with that being said, I give this film one, awkwardly place AC units inside a wall out of five. Do you hear that boom boom baby banging on my rib cage? As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't and you do want to check it out, links are in the description. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay up to date with everything. Bloodbath TV. Fuck you, bitch!